Hey guys, Lucian here, back for some more Battlefield 4. Now, if you didn't see my little video today, uh, Fantasy Reality, it's just me demonstrating how a round is theoretically supposed to go, and how it will actually go. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this. This is a topic I keep coming back to lately, because it's the only thing I can think of lately. It just, every time I play, it's like all the other factors just are non-existent. Now, this is a round of obliteration I played with my uh, clan guys. Uh, there's a few randoms in as well. I was going to cut it down because it's 20 minutes, and then I thought, no, because I know that you guys get irritated if, you know, you cut sections out. The only time I usually cut sections out is when there's like a round and I know there's like long periods where nothing was really happening or it just had no relevance and I need I really needed to keep the time down. So this is a full round and so I know it's 20 minutes but I know a lot of you guys don't mind about that and you'll happily watch it and I'm going to talk throughout anyway. So there we go. This is actually a pretty reasonable round of obliteration as well because everyone's, uh, you know, locker's a good round for obliteration because you've really got that push and pull. But again, it depends on the team, it depends on how things are going. And, you know, it's just like, more and more and more, I just... It's like, the, it's not the game really that bugs me so much, it's, it is just how the games play out. And that's not the fault of the game, it's the fault of the people playing the game. And the fact is, is you can have good gameplay, you can have good games. And this is always meted out by, when I play... Uh, in my clan, we have like loads of squads broken down. Okay, so when we do squad, sorry, you noticed that jump there. I had to cut that because I had to tab out on my screen. Um, in in our clan, of course, we have squads broken down with maybe sort of I don't know between five to fifteen players per squad or whatever. And so sometimes we'll organise squad on squad gameplay, and it's always worlds apart between public games and how they go. It's so enjoyable. It's so good. And I'm I'm starting to just consider more and more not playing public games, just having those kind of games, because at this point it's like, you know, you've got all your guns unlocked, so, I mean, I'm not even max rank because I just don't, you know, I don't hardcore through, I've never even used those stat boosts, which I really should have done, but I never did, um, and it's like, there's not, you know, I have a few attachments, but most of the stuff's unlocked, so playing the majority of those kind of games at this point in time is probably not a, like, a big fuss for me, but... I find myself more and more and more just playing things like Domination because in Domination you can actually have some kind of impact on how the round turns out. But other game modes you just can't. It's just like a roll of the dice on what kind of team you get. And if they're a team that are like pushing, playing the objective, getting on bases, moving around, that's awesome. You, you'll probably have a pretty good round, win or lose, you know. Um, but a lot of rounds are not like that, as you all know this. I, you know, I don't need to be uh, preaching to you guys. This isn't something you need to be told. You guys know this from your own experiences, that you get into a round and just nothing. You're like, any anytime, anytime you want. And it's just like, ugh, it, it spoils and ruins and fails everything. It's just like, what is the point? And this is a bit of a rant video today, to be honest. It's it's not, you know, I'm sorry. Um, bah, you know. <laughs> and um, But it concerns me greatly because I was talking to some of the guys on TeamSpeak about this yesterday. And it concerns me greatly for the future of gaming. Not just for how things are right now, but for how things are going into the future. Because... This is, you know, this isn't going away. This isn't an issue that goes away. Now, the other thing as well is you go, well, you know, it's it's a battlefield. It's the way people play battlefield. It's not. It's not the way people play battlefield. It's the way people play now. Okay, and it, it, it's it's not happened like very recently. This has been going on for ages. You, you may remember, in fact, if you search my channel, um, if you just search Snoove on my channel, I did a video back in Battlefield Three with Snoove where we talked about like state of the community, and in Battlefield Three we were talking about the deteriorating way in which people play. So this has been going on for a long time, you know, and, and of course, you always get good games and bad games, of course, all right, you, you expect that, you're going to have some rounds which just don't go well, people aren't trying, you know, whatever, you, you change it out if you want to leave the server or you play again, I often will try if my patient stands it to sort of stay in through the round and I'll, I'll play like another round, another round, another round, and then hopefully I'll, uh, oh my god, <laughs> what a crazy fest that was. But I, I would talk more about this round, so I'll, I'm just going to talk about this. Look how they're pushing as a squad. This is so good. So they're, they're grabbing it and they're moving forward, moving forward. But more importantly, they're not putting the bomb always at the front. They have a few guys first as a kind of smoke, you know, a sort of a buffer. And then the bomb carrier keeps moving forward, moving together as a squad. So this is some real good gameplay. It was a really excellent hard fought round. And, you know, look, we're having a hard time sort of staying up, moving through. It was a really good, really hard fought. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about it as well. I think obliteration is starting to become one of my favorite.
favorite game modes. Um, I'm going to play it a bit more this weekend, I think, and, and then I'll maybe make some more videos to talk about it, because out of Battlefield, Obliteration, I find generally you get more intense, more direct, more focused gameplay than you do with some of the other game modes, like Conquest and Rush. So, yeah, I, I'm going to do some video of that. I mean, I remember I played a game um, with, actually, it was, <laughs> I'm talking about Snoove today. It was around where you played with Snoove and uh, some of the other guys there. And I remember it was this amazing, it was one of the most hard-fought, intense, full-on rounds that I've, I've ever played. It was so on the wire, right down to the end of it. So Obliteration really offers you that kind of gameplay. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk about it. But it's, it's fine for me to go off topic today because I've got such a long time to talk. But, <laughs> anyway, okay. Oh, my God. Calm down. Okay, so yeah, um, and, and so I worry, I worry that it, it's like, it's the state of the way things are going. It's a, it's a real deterioration. Now, we have got other games coming up, okay? We have got games coming up like Battlefront, all right? Now, DICE working on Battlefront. Now, everybody anticipates that this is going to be an astonishing game. But here's my major concern, and obviously Hardline, right? Now, I've already talked about Hardline a lot. I already talked about the way people play in the beta on Hardline. Uh, let's see whether that transitions into the actual game itself. I have a strong feeling that it will. Uh, that's my prediction, okay? You guys know I have to make predictions pre to release. I predicted that Titanfall would be dead in a couple of months, and it was. So let's see if I'm right this time. Uh, I do predict that... Uh, the level of gameplay will remain, in terms of public play, will remain the same, if not deteriorate further, uh, when we go into the next game. Um, because that is just the way things are going, and that's the way things are encouraged to go. Uh, if you look at the Battlefest thing this week, now they're doing a video competition yet again for Battlefest, alright? What did they choose to do for it? Did they choose best objective play, best squad play, you know, best, best push, best, you know, closest win? No, they went for, like, let's do some more, who gets the craziest shit? And it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake, you know? It's like, why don't you encourage people to play the objective? For once, why don't you do it? Why don't you for once encourage people to actually do what the fucking objective is to do? Why don't you do it for once? Instead of encouraging people to do fucking jump off the roof, knife somebody, blow up, put a grenade in their mouth, you know, like, who cares? It's just... It's just so aggravating, it really is. It's like, when are we going to get some love for the people that are actually trying to play the objective? And I know that all of you guys watching me probably sort of feel pretty much the same because that's why you watch my channel, because that's the kind of content that I do. But there are a lot of people that feel the same way, and it, it is really irritating for me that this just is not an issue. <laughs> why am I quickscoping? <laughs> I didn't even realise I just changed it around that I'm actually using this setup. I'm like, I don't understand why I'm using this setup. <laughs> I think I got so irritated. I'm not good at this anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Just was watching the gameplay, I'm like, why am I sniping? <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, so yeah, and uh, it concerns me that that's the direction that we're heading in. Now, as I say, it's not exclusive. Yeah, see, this, this is what I'm saying, I can't do this, right? There we go, fail, fail. fail. I'm not going to get this, no. <laughs> Super Cupra, of course. Um, yeah, it, it's like, and it's not exclusive to Battlefield, okay? If you play other FPS titles, you find the same problems again and again and again. Uh, I tried out Warface. You probably saw Matimio's video about Warface. I didn't watch it, but I scrolled through the um, my subscription list and saw it. And it, he put, like, you know, disappointed, you know, thought it was going to be better. And uh, it was pretty much my experience. I was going to do a video about it, and I just thought, no, nah, I can't be bothered. It was just like, it was, it was almost kind of what you would expect. So I played Warface. Now... The game aside, it's not really about the game itself, but the way people were playing the game. And I couldn't believe it it was copy and paste. You could have taken it straight out of any Battlefield game and just put it straight. It was the same stuff. The same stuff. One team refused to move. One team all over it. And, uh, you know, and the guy on the other team was sort of, you know, they were putting in the chat and they're like, man, you guys suck. And it's like, yeah, we really do. You know, they're not moving forward. And I was, it was, it was, it, and I was funny. I had the same experience that I have in Battlefield. You know, my whole team were just like not moving forward, not moving forward, not moving forward. And I, I would rush and flank. I'd maybe take out one guy, two guys. I'd get to the objective and then, oh, I'm at the objective by myself. And then they'd all rush me, and then I'd die, and we wouldn't be any further forward than we were. And it's just like, that's how it played out, again and again and again. All my games of Warface were exactly the same. I played all morning, I played like, I don't know, 10, 15 games, something like that, across different servers as well. I mixed it up, you know, different servers, different game modes, just played out the same. And, you know, it's just like, man alive, it's just... And this is what I say, you see, it's kind of infecting everything. Um... 
Now, I think PCs are actually probably less prolific. Oh, I'm never going to get out of here alive. Oh, okay, I did. Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's... It, and I, I say, it, it's almost kind of like um, understandable in a way, okay? Because when you think about where we were as gamers, game, gamers, gamers, like sort of 10 years ago, the state of affairs was... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was super, super bad. Um, the, the state of affairs was very different, you know? We were basically all people that were more dedicated to the way the game plays pushing for the objective kind of just and and, and that's not to say it's right or wrong see that's the, that's the, that's the point it's not you know people can play how they want to play it always of course and and almost i kind of you know this isn't about telling people how they should play but what it is about is just making observation of the people who do want to play in a certain way and finding that there is no room for that sort of that player anymore and there's no in, encouragement uh, for those kind of players anymore to actually play in that way um, and so you're just left with this other way and and then that style of gameplay just gets encouraged everywhere it gets encouraged on social media it gets encouraged in game it's all that people see and it's all that people think you're supposed to do whereas I say if they just encouraged and sort of tried to push people more towards it maybe we would have that sort of thing maybe if there were more servers dedicated to it but again if you look at the servers all the servers are just thousand tickets 500 tickets max max rank rank up fast it's all this kind of bs and you just don't find those kind of objective servers anymore it's really disappointing um i know that daskro had a really good thing going on back with um battlefield 3 i think it was or i think he did it through some of battlefield 4 as well where they would have a server and they would have just like I don't know, two days out of the week where they would have a weekly meetup for objective players and they would say, look, okay, on these days, come to this server this time, it's all going to be objective gameplay. And apparently they used to have really epic rounds and stuff and it uh, kind of makes me want to do that a little. I, I do have my clan server, so perhaps I'll set like a day... Um, for I might not be there myself all the time, but it would just be a day for you guys to know, hey, that's when you're going to get objective gameplay. Um, I don't know. But um, anyway, so, you know, this is what the way that we're sort of moving towards. And it's really like, and then you have things like Chainlink coming in. And it's like with Chainlink, it's like the concept is great. I love the idea of Chainlink as a game mode. It's a fantastic concept, okay? So you have, obviously, you build the links, and that's what gets you the points. And if people flank and break the links, you have to hold on to them. You should be able to break those lights, by the way. You know, I was trying to break it because the ones you can do in Metro, where you shoot them out, and I was thinking you should be able to shoot those out, but you couldn't. But um, Chainlink, it's a good game mode. It's a good concept. Uh, it would play really, really well. It would play really well if I thought there was any hope of people understanding what it was that they're supposed to do. But the chances of that are slim to nil. And so it's just going to be the same deal. And in fact, it, Chainlink, in a way, with the, if, if you had sort of balanced objective play... It might be a little better, but what you're probably going to find is that it just encourages ultra hardcore spawn camp. Because basically, what the game mode is dictating that you do is cap bases, hold, and move forward. Because it's saying, okay, you've got to grab the bases and link them together. Now, when you play normal conquest, what people tend to do is they kind of go all over the place to the weak points. And then you may end up in a situation where you have three, four bases linked in a row. And you may end up in a situation where you end up getting spawn trapped as a result of it. But a lot of the time it can be more fragmented, you know, it's just the way it is. People move, if there's a lot of guys in a sort of A, B area, then people are going to go to sort of D and E. They'll, they'll push to a different area where it's kind of weaker. And so you get more kind of fluid gameplay going on, and you get that with Domination as well. But Chainlink is actually encouraging people to move in a kind of direct straight line from point to point to point, and then hold them. So... I can understand the concept, and here's the thing, it's, it's you know, flank, which is always a strong concept in, in Battlefield, is to just flank, push, break those lines. That's great, it's a really good gameplay. I mean, that's, that's kind of what I like to do, and that's what you should be doing if you're playing as a strong squad. But, I mean, I mean, honestly, does anybody think that's how it's going to work? Like, really? Does anybody think that, that there, there is a hope that that's how it will play out? It's just not going to happen. It's the same way as with Capture the Flag. People have no concept of, of what to do in Capture the Flag. When I used to play World of Warcraft, we were elite at playing Capture the Flag on Warsong Gulch, and we knew all the tactics, all the moves, all the plays, and we would control that situation stronger than anything else, you know? It was just, we were unbeatable. But people have no idea how to play Capture the Flag in Battlefield. They don't leave anybody at base. If they do, they sort of camp too hardcore and then they just get overrun they don't cover any flanks they didn't try to recap 
fly quick enough, they don't fall back when they need to. It's just a, it's just a shambles, and it, it never plays out well. The only way you can play it is, as I say, if you end up in a kind of small private server, ten on ten, something like that. You know, but a public game is just not going to work. It's it's so rare. You have like I say the random odd game, which is just fluke, which turns out amazing. But other than that, it's just not going to happen. Now, I should point out as well, while we're talking about obliteration here, the guys here made a, a really excellent play, and it was the detriment of uh, my team, including myself, that allowed it to happen. Um, you know, we just we didn't pull back fast enough, and they were pushing really well as a squad, the other team. Uh, they were staying together in a tight-knit group. They were having a buffer sp- couple of guys at the front point so they would kind of push forward make sure everything was cleared out um but that was a great great play and this is what i always feel like obliteration this is how it should be it should be down on that one plant um it's great when it comes down onto like the third plant for both teams and that's really exciting but it's also more exciting when you get that one plant and it's like oh my god you know and it used to be like this with uh wsg and, and world of warcraft like with the capture of the flags and you know you're just like you're waiting for that one cap and once they got that one cap you're like oh bollocks we've, we've lost it and it's kind of like that with this i was like damn we're screwed i mean look we've got four minutes on the clock we could potentially do it but it's going to be hard 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 um so anyway here we go so yeah i mean i don't want to be super down and and negative i don't want to be super negative i want to have good gameplay i want to have good games where everybody's working hard and you know and i always feel like when you get these crazy ass moments where people like you know crash a jet and jump out and then rpg somebody off of a rooftop while and then 360 snipe someone midair. It's kind of like those all, those moments are awesome, but it shouldn't be the focus of the gameplay. And, and neither should like just whoring kills the whole round. It shouldn't be the focus of the gameplay. The focus should be on trying to win and, p- and play the objective. You know. And as I've said before, like I always used to say in Bad Company 2, I didn't mind losing because even if you lost in Bad Company 2, often the round. Oh crap! I didn't expect there to be more people down there. Apparently. Um, even if you lost in Bad Company 2, a lot of the time, the round and the gameplay was good enough that you felt like, okay, that's fine. You know, it was, it was a hard-fought round. And I've had that in Battlefield 4, you know, I've, and 3, of course. You know, I, I've had rounds where I, I always I say to the, the other team, I'm like, man, good job, guys. You know, that was well played. You know, really good. Um, I, I like that. I like seeing people get good plays. Um, it, it, same as when people kill me. Like, I hate it when keep, people kill you, like, some BS way. But if somebody gets a real good kill on you, I'll often message them in-game and they'll be like, damn, good shot, man. Good, good, good play, you know, because... It is. You, you, I kind of I respect good play, but when it's just kind of like a massive screw fest and, and nobody's really moving and doing anything, and the classic one standing in the doors, I had that yesterday, people just sitting in a room. I mean, domination is fantastic for that. They'll sort of cap a base, and then you're like, okay, let's go. No? They, they like cap a base and then stay on it. When, and then you say, well, okay, but that's, that's good to do. You know, people never defend the bases enough. That's not what they're doing. They'll cap one base out of three and then stay on that one base. And it's like, we, we do need two bases, guys. And, and they just stay there, stay there, stay there. And then they stay there long enough that what happens is, is that the other team kind of push in, surround, take it, and then you're back to a three base cap. And it's like, ah, uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's pins in your eyes. And so, yeah, chain link. How is this going to go? I just can't, I just can't see that it's going to work, you know. Love the idea. The concept is fantastic. Love the fact that we'll be able to play it. Um, I'll no doubt organize things for my clan and play it and get some good rounds. But publicly, I mean, how is it going to work? Honestly, I mean, how? People can't even get to grips with Domination. And that's the most simple game mode. I mean, it's Domination has been around for like 10 years or more. I mean, and if people cannot get their head around that, how the hell are they going to get their head around this? It's a big concern of mine. And I'll tell you something else. It's something that's actually pushing me away from FPS in general. Um, the quality of the objective play has deteriorated to the point where the only way you can play is kind of privately almost, if you want to get that kind of stuff. If you're not really fussed, like I'll jump on Battlefield some evenings, I'm like, yeah, whatever. You know, I'm not really that fussed. I'm not really caring that much. But when you want to find it, you just can't find it anymore. And I just feel like it's pushing me away all the time pushing me away i feel more and more and more and more like wh- what am i playing for n- anymore because the kind of gameplay that i enjoy just does not exist anymore unless you create it yourself and uh as i say that's fine to do but it's just you shouldn't have to you know it's you can do it but you shouldn't have to do it okay it should be there in some aspect and and it's not encouraged as well. I think that's what I find most disturbing is that it's not encouraged by developers. 
They don't encourage that kind of gameplay, probably because they know that what a lot of people want to see and watch is this kind of BS. And uh, it's, again, that's that's very depressing as well. It's just it's just sad. So you know, don't want to be all down or anything, but unfortunately, it's just the way it's going. And I say it just it pushes me further away towards other stuff like Armor and Star Citizen, where you find that kind of gameplay. Or I hope with Star Citizen, I'm going to find that kind of gameplay anyway. We'll see how it goes, but. So there we go. What are your thoughts about Chainlink? What are your thoughts about state of the community, state of the player base? How do you find your games go down? Are the majority of games steamrolls, one-sided? Are they just people not playing, people doing their own thing, not really thinking about it, not working as a team? Are they more objective? Do you find you have a good server? You have a good server that's really objective. Put it down in the notes below. I'll favorite it. Come check it out. But um, that's where we are. Let me know what your thoughts are below. I uh, hope you enjoyed the kind of random obliteration gameplay. Try and get some more of that pretty soon as well. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you have, please rate and subscribe. It helps me out so much to support the channel. I'll see you next time. More Battlefield 4.